All right. The other week, what we did was look at two companies that were very different and compare their financial statements. And this week, we're going to take two companies that are very much alike uh, in their operations, their business uh, model, and we're going to point out some of the similarities and differences between them. The two companies are Home Depot and Lowe's. All right, Home Depot and Lowe's are in the home improvement business. They're in the same home improvement business. The junk you can buy at Home Depot is the same junk you can buy at Lowe's. They sell the same stuff. Now, Lowe's sells more appliances and, and, and uh, lumber products. Home Depot concentrates on a few other things, but by and large, what you can find at one store, you can find at the other. That being said, these two companies are very different in their how they do business and how successful they are at doing business. And that's one of the things we'll look through here. All right, so this is five years of Home Depot and five years worth of Lowe's. First thing you ought to notice is that Lowe's has lower sales than Home Depot. All right, and that's been going on for about 10, 15 years. Uh, the two companies maybe 15 years ago were, were, were virtually identical, except one company has green aprons for their salespeople and the other per people have orange, I think. But but that was, a, that was the material difference. Home Depot has pulled away over the years. It's a better run company. Uh, as to why they're a better run company, well, they, they <laughs> generally that means they got better people. Okay, or they got better leaders, or they got principal leaders, or they get more people coming to them from uh, from from colleges like the Citadel. I don't know. I I'm a numbers guy. I do know that hands down, you can look at all the numbers and see Home Depot does better than Lowe's. And let's just start with their income statement. All right, so revenue less cost of goods sold gives you gross profit. Less selling, general, and admin expense. Now, the cost of goods sold is what we call a product cost or a, 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 a God, I hate to use the word direct cost because accountants use it differently. If they doubled sales, the cost of goods sold would double, though, right? Selling, general, and admin, if you doubled sales, it would probably go up, but it won't double. That's because the selling, general, and admin, uh, you know, if you sell more stuff out of the store, you're going to pay the sales cashiers just the same amount. The president of the company probably gets paid roughly the same either way. The, the, the janitor that mops the floors at night gets paid the same whether you're selling a lot or not. So the SG&A expenses are, are less tied to the revenue, okay? So they're period costs. Which means you got the light bill on over the over, over the course of the day, whether you're selling anything or not. Every time they sell something, though, the cost of goods sold goes up and revenue goes up. If no customers are in the store but the lights are on, SG&A, the electric bill, which is part of the selling general and admin, the electric bill is going higher even when they're not selling stuff. Okay, the depreciation expenses are a period cost because the depreciation is based on the age of the building, not on how much volume you're running through it, okay? And then operating income. Now, these are what we call operating expenses up here, and anything below there would be non-operating expenses. Now, some of the things I would call a non-operating expense, Lowe's or Home Depot would call an operating expense. I have taken their 10Ks, the information they filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission, and I've converted and put it in my own template. So uh, it the top line matches, the bottom line matches, and the, the income before taxes matches. But some of the stuff they might have put in here, I would have put up here. Some stuff they put up here, I might have put down here. It doesn't make big differences, but just be aware. You, you, you need to be able to do your homework on stuff like this. You need to be able to read through the statement and try and figure out why they're the same and or why they might be different. Well, we see that 
Lowe's obviously sells a lot more than, or I'm sorry, Home Depot sells a lot more than Lowe's, which would explain why they have a lot higher net income. But it's hard to look at just dollars of net income and really get a good feel for what's going on in the companies. That's why we'll do a short look in the video at the common, the next video will be a common size income statement.